Hello guys and welcome to uh, Noodle Leg Film Reviews. Um, I'm just going to start doing, trying to do a few reviews on my channel. Now I'm not going to be doing like the obvious films, you know, like the big blockbusters that you've all probably seen and know, like um, uh, Pulp Fiction, it's Scream, you know, Halloween. I'm not going to be reviewing those films because there's no point. So I'll, I will be reviewing some films that are quite big, hopefully in some of these review uh, videos. But a lot of them are going to be films that maybe you've seen or heard of but never watched or films maybe you never heard of. Um, so I'm going to be doing those. and not always going to be sort of like horror focused. Um, and today's first film on the reviews isn't a horror film. It's um, a film by um, Philippe Moray and it's... Uh, Mad Dog Morgan starring Dennis Hopper. Now, first of all, I'll talk to you about this release. This is released by Indicator on the Powerhouse label. This is the limited edition version of the film. Uh, when Power, when Indicator release a new film or Arrow or um, 88 films, they tend to release a limited edition. Um, and this one there is numbered, as you can see there only 4,000 copies made so they tend to release just a limited edition so I've managed to pick this one up and what do I get in there so let's take all the stuff out first of all obviously I get the film which is a blu-ray and it's in a 4k 2k uh, transfer there's the film really cool and it comes with a reversible cover okay that's really cool um, also comes with a poster reversible poster if I can uh, get that out of the box it's quite a cool poster that's the, uh, the original cover one and there's the uh, the color version of it it says there Philippe Mora's film with starring Dennis Hopper, Mad Dog Morgan. Okay, let me pop that back in there. With the film. Now, it also comes with a really nice booklet. Quite a thick booklet. Lots of pictures, lots of story from the story makers and some of the cast interviews. It's a, it's a really in-depth book and it's really really cool and it's got lots and lots of pictures um, and lots of people sort of like stories of, of, of the film um, it's a really really cool sort of like edition so what is Mad Dog Morgan okay Mad Dog Morgan is an Australian film um, it's based around the sort of 1860s in Australia and it's basically about um, Daniel Morgan who is based on a true story who was an outlaw um he he was sort of he's on in the film um he's been given like an irish sort of descendant accent well i don't believe he was i think he was he was australian but um they in the film purpose they they put him down as an irish sort of person um in australia obviously this is around the age of like when Australia was still finding itself with colonizing its different sort of areas, you know, like Victoria and you know, all the sort of different areas of, of Australia. So it's a based around that sort of time. Um, it's kind of like a Western, but in Australia, okay. It, it is quite a brutal film, uh, and the story is about Daniel Morgan. I mean, he does try to. I think he's he's over there trying to make his wealth and every, everything he does just always ends up violent. And so he turns to being an outlaw and then he holds up like uh, some people and then he gets caught and arrested and he goes to jail for about 10 years where he's brutally sort of like raped and all sorts of things in prison. You don't see too much of that in there, but it's all in there. Uh, and then he comes out and he goes back on his rampage. And he becomes like an outlaw where he's got like that wanted dead or alive sort of thing for it. And it basically it is about the sort of police and that sort of hunting him down and him doing his normal sort of 
violent, brutal rampage that he's doing. Um, but you, you end up quite liking the character, which is um, quite strange. Dennis Hopper plays it really, really well. Um, it's a very young Dennis Hopper in there. Um, and, and he plays the part really, really well. Uh, it, 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 and then eventually, obviously, they, they sort of track him down and there's like a... Or, or, it's, 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 it goes to that sort of story. I don't want to give too much away because I want you to find out the story for yourself. Like I said, it is based on a true story. Um, the positives about the film is that it's beautifully shot. Um, he he makes a friend in there who's an uh, Aborigine. So a lot of the music is sort of the Aborigine sort of um, didgeridoo sort of music. So it's got the Australian feel. So he makes a friend with an Aborigine who, who helps him after he gets shot. And they become sort of partners in crime. And so it goes down that sort of line. Um, I love that part of the story. Um, I love the way it's shot. I think it was beautifully shot. And I think it was a, a really original sort of film to sort of do. Um, this was filmed in the 1970s. Um, now, negatives. Now, if I, the only negative I could really find about the film is the pace. I find the film moves too quick. I mean, the running time on this is about and 103 minutes I would have rather been longer and paced more because I, I find that they 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 rush through the story quite a bit to try and fit so much in um, because obviously he'd been doing it for a number of years and they, they sort of you, you start off in the film straight away he's there he's in the punch-up and he's holding someone up and he's in prison within like the first 10 minutes it's like that sort of pace. It's like, well, just, just, whoa, 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 slow down. That's the only negative thing I've got to say about the film is the pacing. I would have rather a much longer film um, to give more of a background story of of, of, um, of Daniel Morgan. That's a great, great picture, right? But that's the only negative about the film. To me, it's a must watch. Um, if I'm going to score it, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, just because I think it is definitely a must watch. It's one of those films that when you've seen it, you, you automatically love it. Um, this edition, I, you're probably not going to pick up anymore because, as I say, it's only the limited edition, but you cannot believe pick up the normal sort of Blu ray of it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth a watch if you've not seen it. Um, and that's Mad Dog Morgan. So there's not a lot more I can really say about the film without giving the story and the plot away and I don't want to do that so I hope you like this little review and I hope you will check out Mad Dog Morgan um, I will be doing more reviews of some films a bit like this giving you a little bit of a look at the actual version I've got telling you a little bit about the synopsis about the story and a bit of my views what I thought was good about it and what was a bit negative about it and then giving it a little score so I give that 8 out of 10 anyway guys see you all soon and of course, we will make an yes must before we send it on to Melbourne. Frankly, I consider Morgan scarcely human. Therefore, he is not entitled to the consideration due to other men, however criminal. By all means, off with his head. And don't forget the scrotum. <laughs>